Friends, this is a hyper mature cataract. This is the main incision with the 2.8 millimeter keratome. And now, one side port is made on the right side of the main incision. I want to stain the capsule with tripan blue dye. A big air bubble has been injected into the anterior chamber and this is the tripan blue dye 0.06%. I'm going to use adrenaline to see if the people dilates a bit more. In this case the people has dilated to about 5 millimeter or 6 millimeter. Yes, with adrenaline it has dilated little more, maybe 6.5 millimeter. And if this dilatation remains throughout surgery, there should not be any problem. Now, in this case, I am going to use Oro Coat. It's a combination of chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate each 2%. It is from Orolab, India. It is called Orocoat. Now I am going to do capsulorexis as I puncture the anterior pole as the anterior capsule is punctured milky fluid comes out indicating this is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract. Now I expressed some viscoelastic substance along with that milky fluid also got displaced and I could do rexis. The CCC is in progress at this moment and here I complete the rexis. The rexis size is adequate. Now, though this cataract is white, since this is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract, I am expecting a hard nucleus. Yes, this is a white stone. And this is auto coat again. And to push this orocoat to the corneal endothelium, I have injected SPMC over the nuclear mass. Now, in hypermature cataracts, the epinucleus is usually incorporated into the nucleus. And everything is a solid mass. So I have to hold the nucleus with high vacuum and here is the vertical job. Place the chopper in front of the FECO tip and crack. And after cracking, here you can see the endonucleus. This is a bit brownish. This endonucleus has to be emulsified separately. So what I do is I turn the teeth towards the endonucleus, hold it, separate it from the rest of the mass and apply ultrasonic energy on it and remove it. Now rest of the nuclear mass has been cracked by several chops but still the plate, posterior plate is 
leathery and the fragments are not free. So what I'm doing is I'm just trimming the periphery like this. Trim the peripheral peripheral part of this mass and keep the central plate intact. This is another portion. Trim this peripheral part. Now I rotate it and trim this portion. Let the central plate remain. And now this is the central plate joining the fragments. It has to give in at the last moment. So instead of trying to separate the posterior plate with two instruments, this is another technique. We just trim the peripheral portion keeping the central part of the plate intact and at the end the central plate tilts, sometimes tumbles and you can easily remove it. Now cortical cleanup is done. At this time the pupil size has become little smaller cannot see the rexis margin on the left side. The pupil size is about 5 millimeter or little less than 5 millimeter at this moment. Now cortical cleanup is done. Now I check like this. Just push the iris with the Simco and you can check whether any cortical lens matter is remaining anywhere. Now I'm going to implant a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens under irrigating fluid. BSS keeps the entry chamber formed and the injector injects the lens in the entry chamber the left hand instrument guides the lens into the capsular bag. That's it. The case is done. Now, little bit of moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber. The side ports are hydrated to make the ports waterproof and a final wash is given and the anti-chamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention.